Hello everyone, I wanted to go over everything that I saw at uh, Flight Sim Con 2017 this year. Um, first of all, uh, I was very uh, kind of uh, blown away that uh, DCS did not show up to show off their F-18. They decided to go to E3. I understand they had a uh, prior engagement with uh, Thrustmaster for that. However, X-Plane made some amazing announcements for uh, their X-Plane 11 platform. Uh, VR was announced. Uh, they're going to be bringing some landmarks. Uh, G-1000 was announced. Um, Austin's been working on the physics, uh, particularly like the F4 Phantom and like the uh, the whole jet engine uh, deal there. Uh, they're shooting for 60 frames per second. They're moving off the OpenGL uh, platform to Metal and Vulcan with DirectX 11. Um, and they're also working on a new plugin API. Now the roadmap looks like this. So uh, one thing that they fixed immediately was the shaking ground. You know, when you're sitting in an airplane and it's like shaking around you the world. Uh, they found that bug, they squashed it, it's done, it's fixed. Um, they're also working for better frames as of right now. Uh, they're bringing more airports via the gateway scenery. Uh, this summer, they're bringing up landmarks. So this is what we can expect in the summer. Uh, VFR landmarks. Uh, they're bringing the G1000. That, like I said, they showed off the G1000. It looks amazing to have uh, a full functioning G1000 uh, system in the core X-Plane 11, not as an add-on. That's amazing. Uh, they uh, also plan on bringing the new physics in in the, uh, the summer, as well as the more uh, speed in the core sim for better FIPS, as they like to call them. Uh, this fall is when they uh, plan on bringing virtual reality. They were there at Flight Sim Con, and they were showing off the virtual reality. Uh, and there, it was pretty surprising to see how many people were moving over to that platform from prepared. Uh, so very cool stuff there. Moving on, another big thing for X-Plane was Active Sky. Active Sky uh, announced that they are indeed making Active Sky for X-Plane 11. So uh, not sure when that's going to be coming out, but soon enough. Over in the FSX and prepared side of things, Quality Wings was there with their 787. It's coming very soon, I would say, in the next couple months. Um, so that's something to look forward to for those of you that uh, have been waiting forever for the 787. It looks absolutely awesome. Back in the VR side of things, Fly Inside was there and they showed off a brand new sim that they're working on. Uh, and it's kind of similar to how Dovetail uh, was with their Flight Sim World. Um, they essentially are building off of FSX, but they're making their own sim. Uh, so it is more compatible with VR. Tom Govin was there with his Cessna sim project and uh, I got to fly that and talk with Tom a little bit. Um, some things that he added was uh, force feedback to the yoke. Uh, it felt very heavy. You could feel the uh, ailerons when you're on the ground and stuff. Uh, the biggest problem was there was a huge dead zone in the middle. So it, uh, he's still tweaking on that uh, to try to figure that out. Uh, and he also said that he wanted to get some input from uh, actual Cessna pilots so he can make his sim better. But all awesome, awesome uh, sim projects he's got there. Pilot Edge was uh, there as well, and they were showing off uh, the U.S. West expansion to their uh, their ATC system, and uh, they also have a ton of new airports. I'll have a link for that in the uh, description below. You can check it out. Virtual Fly was uh, showing off their Solo A panel. If you ever wanted to just buy a big, huge panel for your flight sim, uh, this is the one to get. It has Yoko the Yoke and all that stuff uh, with it. Um, but uh, it's actual physical gauges and they're actually FAA certified uh, for flight schools. Aerofly FS2 is there showing off their Orbix uh, scenery, uh, the Innsbruck and the MIGS field. Um, and uh, it looked absolutely awesome in VR. Moving back to the prepared side of things, TFDI design, they were there with their 717. Uh, and uh, they also announced that they have an FSFX package uh, being released for that particular airplane. Dovetail was there with Flight Sim World. They had a setup of a few screens and uh, some people got some hands on with that. It sounds like they're very open to what the uh, the community has to uh, bring to them. Um, and they've been making some fixes based off of some huge criticisms. Uh, so hopefully some better things will come out of that project. But if it's going to be on Steam, it's kind of hard to say. One of the highlights of Flight SimCon 2017 was easily the developer panel of Lockheed Martin. Uh, there was uh, Dovetail there and X-Plane all uh, answering questions at the same time. If you haven't been able to check this out, check out uh, Flight Sim Guy. His uh, channel will be in the description below. He has gone through and uh, recorded all of the different panels, so you can watch them in their entirety. I really, really, really recommend them to you uh, if you're big into flight simulation so you know what's on the horizon. For the very first time, I got to do a panel with uh, Ty, Catch Trader, and Squirrel. 
and uh, Airsoft Gaming and Pilot Edge all together um, answering questions that you guys had on the floor about uh, YouTube and doing Twitch. After the panel, I was able to walk around and meet a lot of you guys that watched the channel. I do appreciate that. It was very, very, very cool meeting a lot of you. And uh, I hope to see you next year at Flight Sim Con. And that about sums up everything at Flight Sim Con 2017. I had a blast um, and I look forward to going next year. I was able to uh, check out um, uh, Diamond uh, 40 that was on the ramp. And uh, having it there at the hotel was just a lot better um, experience than at the Aviation Museum. So hope to see some of you guys next year. I'm not sure where it's going to be at, if it's going to be in the same place or not. But we'll have to wait and see. But until then, my name is Jeff Faviano. Take care.